So in this video, I am going to be focusing and analyzing Nasdaq for the month of September 2024. As many of you are aware, we did actually analyze Nasdaq and some other pairs for the, uh, for the year of 2024. Please go check that out. It's playing up to the T and of course right now I just want to build up on that and really predict for us what's going to happen on the month of September. Please do watch till the end because the final details of predicting this can be very educational to some of you guys really starting up to trade either indexes or just trading overall. Okay family, so right now we are on the chart on Nasdaq uh, on the monthly time frame as you can see this is the one month time frame we want to see exactly the next candlestick that's going to come out after this and it's going to be quite a very easy prediction if I may say myself in terms of the very sentiment now let's get into it without much talk over here okay I just want to zoom in for those using phones and we're getting clearly on it. candlestick interpretation. The first essential thing when you're predicting for a new month is you understand candlestick interpretation. And there's a lot of videos that do that. I'm not sure if I've created one, but if you just go and download candlesticks, there's a whole chart of them and their meaning thereof. And you can clearly see in this case what really happened here. Let me just take something to draw. Um, we did have a demand over here and this demand is stretched across here and we have this whole candle for the month of August it did actually fill in here I'm not sure if I did for the month of August but I remember predicting something like this where we did predict that the month will actually come in and be you know supported in this regard on this demand and I just want to show you that I labeled it after I've done my candlestick analysis. From then on, we did see just before it pulling back, we did see that the market did actually have a very strong bullish candle. This candle over here was a very strong bullish momentum candle. Now we did have what we call a spinning top candle. Now this is a bearish spinning top candle. What this candle means here, where I have highlighted this candle over here, what it simply means is that it shows that there's going to be a turnaround of the market or a reversal, if we can say it in trading technologies. This reversal, it just indicates that it's not immediate reversal, but soon reversal. Hence, when it came up, it's not like the next candle that came up and just started buying right away. It soon fell into just to retest this demand, then therefore start buying. Now, based on that, some of you can already interpret exactly where I am going with this, but let's validate it more. Let's put all of this bearings over here quite neatly and nicely. We have this demand. Uh, let me just correct that because I was using it for something over here. Okay. Let's just correct this quickly and just make it a bit lighter over here. Okay. That's our demand level. There we go. So we have this demand coming back all the way here, and of course, the month of August is the candlestick and closing uh, in four days, seven hours. So by the time I'm recording this, that's when this month is actually closing on the markets. Now, let's go to a, a lower time frame than this one that will be the one week or weekly time frame because there's only one, one week in that. And as you can see, it's showing me candles that are going to be coming up. In this so we still have four days left which is just one week before we can get other candlesticks coming up in terms of if we can just get candlesticks coming up like this and we can get more coming up to really buy this market that can be something that can potentially happen over there uh, let me just play this back now we can clearly see how this really retested onto this market where we do have it clearly showing us that it did actually a rally and then of course it fell giving us a retracement and then we are now going towards an impulse in this so we did break uh, this higher highs we created new higher highs this was the recent higher lows in the market created now a new higher high so according to the structure and law of the market this is basics guys just predicting the markets with basics I've said it before right that 
um, the most powerful strategies involve just following the utmost basics of trading and that is in that regard over here where we can see that it's just the utmost basics of just following the nature of structure and um, in, in, in other terms we would say the order flow of the market okay so yes I do predict that the market should be creating new higher highs and break this last higher high over here now how you may catch this during the month of um, September I just want to of course discuss that right now okay let me just erase this while I'm erasing this some of you guys have watched our videos concerning news trading um, where we teach about news and we recently opened what we call a school of news trading where we do it uh, with the boot camp style where we teach you guys under a lot of intense thorough training to understand news trading so if you're interested in that we have recently opened this and we're welcoming new students within our school of uh, news trading so it's a boot camp where we take uh, where we take it under three days to make you understand on how to trade news what is news between the gambling of news and actually scalping of news um, and really just understanding the whole world and a strategy that's reliable in terms of consistency so for those who are who have been you know DMing us about trading news and so forth do follow up this week we are taking up news we're starting in first uh, in, in fact our class I think Friday I'm not sure exactly I'll put the date over there as well as our contact details so the number that you see on the screen I'm gonna say it until you right now 065 eight triple five six two seven that's the number for our whatsapp company or you can just simply go to our website click the whatsapp icon it has our link over there and you can chat directly to our admin to enroll we're taking in of course i believe this will be the last batch of uh, school of news trading if the demand is still much we will do another one depending on the demand so for those who have dm'd us make sure to now enroll okay by the way going back to this now let's go into a bit of a smaller time frame here from that which is the daily time frame okay so the daily time frame that we're on we can clearly see structure that actually give us quite beautiful stuff over here i mean we can see that was quite bearish we, we did actually break those higher lows so that's a change of character now let me label everything quite nicely in terms of smart money okay we did have that being uh, the break of structure from the bigger time frame now we did have other breaks of structure I will not label them right now but we can clearly see where we are here we have this low that was created and we have this high that was created over here so the highs and lows of course this was the higher low market did retest into that if we're now to refine this into just this demand we can see where this demand actually filled in so we have a smaller demand over there now we do have a, a change of character over here there we go so the market just recently broke character now so for many who concluded they just kicked off they're just thinking oh hullabaloo we're going for buys but what actually might be happening over here is that we actually might retest slightly in order to go higher so that can be what we are actually doing in this past few days before we can actually step into the month of september where we can actually be filling up a few further gaps over here that i see on the markets where the market actually gave us fair value gaps there we may be actually going into this area so now let's further investigate i'm gonna stop on the 4h and really create a hypothesis that's well defined on this prediction here and this analysis so those fair value gaps we actually do see them where they are we do see that the market actually i do see liquidity that may want to take that a lot of people would want to see the market actually buying off the of that supply or of the demand but what i see the market may actually do is that we'll break this and take the market off this demand and still go higher okay let me cancel that out and throw it nicely okay so we can see the fair value gaps may be not quite relevant but the market actually is going to use this demand take this liquidity over here 
uh, their favor, you can trade us, but it's gonna take uh, their buy stops and then buy from here on and create new highs. Okay, so that's what I see in terms of analysis based on my skills. Remember, this is not a final word that's gonna come to pass like prophecy, but you ought to also do your homework. Some of you guys have already done your homework on the markets. Do tell me in the comment section what you see. Please try to be as descriptive as possible in terms of what you see on NASDAQ. Name the time frames, name the style that you're using of analysis. I'm just using smart money over here, simple smart money combined with the nature of structure. This is meant to in order to really educate a lot of beginners out there as well as intermediate trainers that the simplicity of the market can really give you direction without looking for a lot of stuff. We actually went into the lower time frames, that's where we see a lot of liquidity and so forth uh, being taken. But larger time frames, they just depend on supply and demand. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe to this channel and also share this video with your friends and family. Let them know that we are here to stay. Skill FX Academy. This is where you guys receive the highest level of education in the simplest way possible. God bless you.